Here we go on a nice wide open base. This is G-Man, who was a guest warrior for us coming from the workhouse, uh, or the workhorse, sorry. Um, so uh, really, you know, appreciate him coming over and, and getting numbers. We were trying to do a last minute arranged war that didn't end up matching. Uh, but this was a pretty nice attack on, uh, on a base that I whiffed on on the first attack. So just wanted to, to show what he's doing here. Uh, there he has both of the golems coming in, um, and then it, just a trail of heroes and Valkyrie to, to get all that damagey stuff into the core there. Uh, Queen's going to suck them in, but the, the Valkyrie do end up going to the side to dodge those loons, which worked out. Uh, so the loons target the, the golems while the queen shoots them down, and then the Valkyrie jump back into the core. So I'm not sure if he had planned on using that jump there, but that was a really good adjustment. Uh, there's some cleanup minions. Uh, Valkyrie just running around. Let's get all that damagey stuff. And these bases can be pretty hard to, to funnel. My attack failed. It was a queen walk, bowler walk that I think I overcomplicated things. And uh, I think more and more as I'm at Town Hall 11, I, I like these shattered attacks, especially against uh, bases that are set up to be kind of anti queen walk. Uh, this one with the, the, you know, makes it hard for the queen to funnel without getting in there. But once you get in there, then you're exposing your queen to multiple max expos and uh, inferno. Um, so it, it feels kind of retro to do an attack without a queen walk. But, you know, as the, the meta goes to block the queens, then you go back to the uh, Shattered go Gohova or uh, just go viz like this. It's a really nice attack. Wanted to capture it. Make sure that uh, you know we keep this as one of our options. And uh, good job, G-Man. Thanks again for for coming to play.